Hi, Keith Morris again from the Conservatory of Recording Arts and Sciences, and uh, I have an idea. Okay, so I had an idea to show the difference between polarity and phase, and basically how a polarity uh, reverse switch will not correct the phase issue and what's actually going to happen. So if we drift over to the whiteboard first, I'll kind of explain it. Same concept with the 57 thing I showed, but different distances here. Wave theory is wave theory. So now I got a couple speakers that are foot apart. And in wave theory, 1K is 360 out from the other speaker, fully adds. 500 hertz, on the other hand, is twice as long as 1K. And we wind up being 180 out of phase at 500. So if we simply just polarity reverse the back source, that just takes these sine waves, flips them backwards from where they were, and now all that happens is 1K cancels 500 adds and basically takes the cancellation, moves it up one on. Okay? So let's prove this in smart. Okay? So on the smart display here, we can see that on the phase display, 1K, or sorry, 500 dips out at 500 totally here and here. And then when I plot where 1K is at, here we can see that it is at zero. So 1K, zero degrees, full addition, 500, 180 out, cancellation. Okay? So I'm going to invert the polarity of one of my channels now. And what we see happen now is now 1K is 180 out and canceling. And if I plot 500, it's back in at zero. So how I'm creating this measurement is basically I'm sending uh, pink noise into my reference channel, pink noise also into the measurement channel delayed. And then in the measurement channel, I also have to add the original signal not delayed to get the home filter on the bottom. So that's my story for this time. So see you soon.